Imagine a small family farm on the edge of a drought-prone region. For generations, they've fought against the elements, watching their crops wither year after year. Then, genetic engineering steps in like a modern, day-night in shining armor. Scientists modify the crops to be more drought-resistant. Suddenly, that farm can thrive again, feeding not just their own family, but the whole community. Genetic engineering in agriculture isn't some cold, heartless experiment. It's a tool, like a well-crafted pen in the hands of a storyteller. It allows us to write a new chapter in the story of food production. We can reduce the use of harmful pesticides by creating pest-resistant crops. That's like giving Mother Nature a helping hand, not a slap in the face. Statistics show that genetically engineered crops can increase yields significantly. But it's not just about numbers. It's about the millions of people around the world who go to bed hungry every night. Genetic engineering gives us the power to turn that situation around, to ensure that every child has a plate of nutritious food. So, how can it not be ethically acceptable? While I appreciate the vision of a family farm thriving through genetic engineering, we must not overlook the ethical implications that come with it. The very act of modifying crops changes their fundamental nature and has potential consequences that we are only beginning to understand. First, consider biodiversity. The reliance on genetically engineered crops can lead to a monoculture, reducing the variety of plants and ecosystems around us. This not only makes us vulnerable to pests and diseases but also threatens the intricate balances of nature that we've relied on for centuries. Second, there are the economic impacts. Small farmers can find themselves at the mercy of big biotech companies. When they become dependent on patented seeds, they may lose their independence and be forced to adapt to the demands of corporate interests rather than their own needs or traditional practices. Finally, there's the matter of transparency. Many consumers are concerned about the long-term health effects of consuming genetically modified organisms. Ethical considerations include the right of individuals to know what they're eating and to make informed choices. While genetic engineering might present immediate solutions, we must tread carefully. We can't sacrifice the ethical principles of sustainability, equity, and transparency for short-term gains. The stakes are too high. You paint a bleak picture, but let's look at these concerns through a different lens. Biodiversity isn't lost, it's enhanced. Genetic engineering allows us to create crops that can thrive in harsh conditions where traditional varieties would fail. It's like adding new colors to an artist's palette, expanding the range of what's possible. These new crops can coexist with others, opening up new ecological niches.